To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. From the 1920s through the 1960s, Audubon Park visitors could enjoy a ride through the park's lagoons on a boat shaped like a swan. I actually got my first job um, at 10 years old riding my bike and we had the wonderful old swan boat going up and down the lagoons. The man running would see me hanging around and one day he asked me would I like a job. And I said I love it and the job was to see we pull up the boat, I would tie it up. Um, so I would ride back and forth all day long on the swan boat tying it up and I um, felt good about myself and um, hopefully the customers felt good about the job I was doing. For a mere 10 cents, it was possible to take a one mile ride on motorized boats that could hold up to 20 passengers. The vessels were docked behind the Newman Bandstand. A second dock at the St. Charles Avenue end of the lagoon allowed passengers to travel from the streetcar to the bandstand. Shown here riding the swan boat is New Orleanian Bruce R. Hofer Jr. as a two-year-old with his father, aunt, and sister. The swan boats may be a distant memory, but the tranquil nature of Audubon Park's lagoons continues to be a place of solitude and quiet serenity for all. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection. Additional support provided by the Gale and Tom Benson Charitable Foundation.